final answer. Example number 12. If 23 bis x is equal to 32 bis 5, find the value of x. In solving this type of question, um, first we will convert to be staying equating the left hand side to the right hand side. That is, while we are converting to be staying, at the same time we will equate them to each other and then solve for our unknown, which is x. So that can be done. That is um, 23 bis x. 23 bis x is equal to 32 bis 5. This is our left hand side, this is our right hand side. We equate them. That will be 2, 0, 1, the power 0, 1. That will be 2 times x raised to the power 1 plus 3 times x raised to the power 0. We are true with our left hand side. is equal to 3 times 5 raised to the power 1 plus 2 times 5 raised to the power 0. 2 times x raised to the power 1, x raised, that would be 2x plus x raised to the power 0 is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, is equal to 3 times 5 raised to the power 1 is 15, 5 raised to the power 0 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. So what we'll be having is 2x plus 3 is equal to 15 plus 2 is 17, 2x. Now take, we we'll collect like times. That will be 17. By the time this plus 3 is crossing this plus sign, it will become minus 3. That will be 2x is equal to 17 minus 3 is 14. Now divide both sides by 2. That will be 2x all over 2 is equal to 14 all over 2. That is, Divide, divide, divide both sides, both sides by two. So what we're having here is an x is equal to four divided by two is seven. Hmm? So, which gives us the value of x, that is, this 23 is to the base of 7 if it's going to be equal to 32 base 5, which gives us our final, that means x, uh, which is our final answer, the value of x is 7, which is our final answer. Question number 13. If 124 is n is equal to 232 is 5, find the value of n. This question is similar to the previous example, number 12. Um, we are going to solve it in something very in a very similar way to it. The only thing is just that in that one we got a direct Question, but this one we are going to have something that looks like a quadratic equation where we are going to find the factors of our answer and then we are going to have two answers. So, uh, what we are going to do uh, is that we will solve it just like the other one 124 this n, that is, we are going to equate it y converting to this 10, which is equal to. 232 base 5. Why converting this left hand side to base 10? We equate it to 232, the conversion of 232 base 5, which we are going to convert to base 10. That will be 120. That will be, we have to know the power first 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. Why you are Getting the power, you start from the right hand side, you start with zero. That will be one times n raised to power two plus two times n raised to power one 
plus 4 times n raised to the power 0. We are through with our left hand side. We are now going to the conversion of the right hand side. That will be 2 times 5 raised to the power 2 plus 3 times 5 raised to the power 1 plus 2 times 5 raised to the power 0. 1 times n squared will give us n squared. 2 times n raised to the power 1 will give us 2n plus 4 times n raised to the power 0. n raised to the power 0 is 1. 4 times 1 is 4, which is equal to the right hand side now. 5 raised to the power 2 is 25 times 2 is 50 plus 5 raised to the power 1 is 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 raised to the power 0 is 1. 2 times 5, 2 times 5 is, hey, 5 raised to the power 0 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. So we now have something like this, n squared plus 2n plus 4 is equal to 50 plus 15 is 65 plus 2 is 67. We now have n squared plus 2n. Now bring this is 7 to the left hand side and equal to 0 plus, plus 4. I time this cross positive 67 is crossing to become negative. That is, this imaginary plus will change to minus minus 67 is equal to 0. 4 minus 67 is 63. That will be n squared plus 2n minus 63. What are the possible values? Uh, minus. Okay, that's 63. This equals to 0. The factors of 63, we have um, 63. We have 1. And then we have uh, 3. This is um, 21. And then we have uh, 3 again. That's a 7, then we have 7, which means we have 3 times 3 times 7 is equal to 63. Which, but if we should, we can just pick this, we can say 3 times 3 is 9, times 7 is equal to 63. We need plus 2, that will be minus 7 plus 9 which will give us 2. So we now bring that, that will be n squared minus 7n plus 9n minus 63 equals to 0. We we'll collect this right time, that will be n. We'll find the factors, that will be n squared divided by n, we we'll have n. 7n minus uh, divided by n, we'll be having 7. Now, the factors of 9n and 63, we can say 9, we have n. 63 divided by 9 is 7, equals to 0. That means we are now having 9n plus 9, huh? n minus 7 equals to 0, which means n, therefore, n is equal to minus 9, or n is equal to 7. That is when this 9 will be crossing uh, the equal to sign to change to negative. That's why we are having this. And we can have a negative base. The only possibility that we can have is the positive one, which means our answer is 7. We can only have 7 as our base, which means 1, 2, 4, the 7 is equal to 232 base 5. 
Therefore, we can say that from our calculation, we can say that 124 base 7 is equal to 232 base 5, which means which means that our n our n is equal to 7. quite different from what we've been doing before because they've introduced the decimal aspect into this which means we're having a decimal fraction that we are going to convert also to this thing well it's very simple provided that we follow the logic being involved so what we're having here is one one point zero one one this um, two, this two, this is what we are having to convert to uh, this ten.